Hi, it's Sam Wilson, the Sam Wilson Home Selling Team at eXp Realty, the realtor helping realtors, and welcome to video number five in this value stack about networking for success. And this video is about demonstrating both character and competence. So demonstrating character is things like asking questions, listening for wants and needs, thinking about where you can give first. And don't be so anxious to give during your first conversation. It's more important to ask questions and listen for wants and needs. Where can you help people? And let's face it, you can't help everybody. You're gonna hear and talk to people, you're gonna, in, in talking to people, you're gonna hear wants and needs that you just can't help with. Um, let's talk about real estate for a second. So you're going to hear somebody talking about, you know, they're getting ready to sell their house. You're certainly going to get excited, but you're going to want to ask questions instead of right there jumping into, hey, can I come over for a listing appointment tomorrow night? That would be a huge mistake. I don't think you're far enough along in the relationship to do that. Instead, ask about what's important to them about selling their home. Ask about their situation, where they're going, what's their motivation, what's their why. And then here's a really good example. I can't help people that want to have the discussion about a discount commission, right? Like you get into that conversation and they start talking about interviewing, um, you know, agents or brokerages that you know very well are discount brokers. Certainly you can ask questions about why they think that, about you know why the bottom line profit in the sale isn't more important to them than a discount commission. Whole nother discussion in a different video, but my point is you may not be able to help them. Or if you complete that conversation, you're just listening for wants and needs and do they really want more on their bottom line or do they want a discount commission? And when you follow up with them, you can certainly help with those wants and needs. That's networking as opposed to just jumping in, grabbing them by the throat and forcing yourself into a, a listing presentation. So that's character. Now, competence is something different. Competence is doing what you say you will do. Sure, things build competence so, uh, in, in people's perceptions, such as reviews on Google, reviews on uh, various other websites like Zillow, but we'll talk about that in marketing and branding. For now, um, certainly reviews, third-party endorsements, other people say it's so. That helps you build and demonstrate competence. Moreover, you have to build and demonstrate your competence. You have to do what you say you will do. You have to follow up. It's okay to say you don't know, but you'll have an answer soon. Give them a time. Over deliver on that promise to follow up. Those are the things that build competence. So, so let me give you an, a real example. When I was a coach and mentor at a large brokerage, I had a newer agent come to me in tears one day. And the reason why is because he was so upset that his own family, his uncle and aunt who have known him for, at this point I think it was 28, 29 years of his life, that's how old he was, they obviously know his character, but they went and hired another realtor. And the reason why was competence, not character, it was competence. He had not sold any homes yet. One of the reasons he got into real estate is because he assumed he would be able to sell his uncle and aunt's home. He knew they would be selling, so it gave him some inspiration to get into real estate. Not just because of that, but that was a big trigger for him because he thought that would be his first sale. So. Uh, through a lot of conversation, too much for this video, a lot of uh, introspection that I coached him on, uh, he went back and spoke to his family and he found out that it was that simple. It really, you know, was devastating, but it was simply because they didn't think he had the competence to sell their high-end home as his very first sale. As much support as he had in the office, it just wasn't a good feeling. Um, it wasn't something that they felt comfortable doing. And rather than ruin a family relationship, they chose a different real estate professional. So when we 
talk about that in the spirit of networking, people are not going to refer you until they know you're going to make them look good. People refer people who make them look good. Think about the last restaurant you referred as an example. You only refer that because you know that people are going to have a good experience. You're not going to be able to get the kind of referrals and network building you want until you can demonstrate both character and competence. So uh, we'll talk about this. It's way too much for one video. This is probably one of the longest videos I've even made in this value stack or any of my value stacks, but it's because there's so much here building character and competence in order to uh, earn that ability to network and build out your network and help other people. So I hope this was uh, valuable. This is a great mastermind topic. I look forward to doing that with you. Uh, importantly, I look forward to seeing you over in video no number six, which is about giving, asking, and receiving, or receiving to give. An interesting concept I'll discuss in the next video. I'm Sam Wilson, the Sam Wilson Home Selling Team at EXP Realty, the Realtor Helping, video, the Realtor Helping Realtors video value stack, and I'll see you over there in the next video.